Hi, this is Zach with ECU Master USA, and today I'm going to show you just some basics of using the EMU software, how to load the software, how to load a map, uh, how to use basic logging features, uh, just to give you a quick run through of how to use basic features with the EMU. Uh, we get this question often, uh, people haven't used the software before, uh, so I figured I'd just put together a two minute video and show you the, the very basics of how to use uh, basic features in the software. So if you don't have the software already, go to our site, ecumasterusa.com, go to the download section, here's where we find a release version of the software. If you want to use beta versions of the software that have newer features, uh, you can always locate those on our tech forum under the announcement section, latest software versions, you can download it here. So that's the quick run through. Also, don't forget to download the USB driver as well. Um, that's kind of a common thing. If somebody, if you download the software and don't download the USB driver, uh, there's some likelihood the ECU won't connect. So you have to have the USB drivers downloaded and installed uh, when you try to connect the ECU. So I'm gonna flip over to the software now uh, and turn on an ECU I've got on the simulator. So you have the USB noise, it recognizes that something's been plugged into the USB port. Give it one second, it should pull all the maps off the uh, EMU now that it's connected. So, so, EMU has nothing stored on it, right? This is the default map. You can see there's nothing in the VE table. So what I'm going to do is go to Open Project, Desktop, or wherever you've saved a file, right? I've got files kind of saved all over the place. So uh, I'm just going to open a, a 1JZ base map here. It's going to give you a, a screen that tells you that it's going to write the map. Go ahead and click yes. And then you'll see our nice pretty VE table. So that's the basics. Once you've got that plugged in, you can go to the log table. So you can go to basic here and just watch basic values. Um, so I'm going to modify some inputs here. So you can see I'm going to trim our coolant temp intake air temp, throttle position. You can see manifold pressure and barometric pressure reading the same, which is normal if the engine isn't running. So that's just the basic menu. When you actually need to save a log, you're gonna open graph one, two, or three down here. So I'm just gonna open graph one. You see it really doesn't show much right now. Um, you have to open a preset to really see much. So it's already recording the log. As soon as I click start, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the log, clear it, and start it again. So even without seeing more than these two channels, it is actually recording every channel. Uh, so I'm going to drop down a preset. You got your choice here. You can choose fuel ignition, drive by wire, boost, variable valve timing, you know, any of the main menus. I'm just going to pick fuel, and that gives us eight channels. I'll drag this down so we can see it a little bit better. And you can select each of these channels individually. These are the defaults when you pull up the fuel preset. I don't want to see warm-up enrichment. Let's say I want to watch, oh goodness, I don't know. We'll say knock level. So you can select each channel individually. So when you're done logging, you just click stop, save log. You can save the log as whatever you choose to name it. I'm not going to. Same with saving a project. You can save the project as. Uh, when you open a project, you also need to be sure that you click this button right here, which is the Make Tables Permanent button. Anytime you make changes to your ECU, you need to make sure you hit that Make Tables Permanent button so it doesn't revert back when the power cycle to the ECU. Uh, if it is cycled for whatever reason, you can always go and use the Undo feature after powering it back up and get back to where you were. You can also open Gauges. Let's say you want to watch AFR. You can drop that anywhere on the screen. Right click, maybe get small large, and you have a desktop for all the main features here, and you can always rename these. So if I don't want to call it idle, let's say I want to call this who knows what. You can save the name of the individual tabs. Anyway, I hope this is useful to you. Uh, I'm going to start doing these videos at least once a week just to get some basic features out there and, uh, and show you how to use basic functionality in the software. But that is a very, very quick startup. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave any questions or specific things you'd like to see. Leave them in the comments, and we'll try to accommodate. Thank you.